Hi there, Minecrafters. Welcome to this Minecraft tutorial of video here on the channel. I got something pretty cool to show you in this video. So I have recently done a tutorial on how to run commands by clicking a sign. This is a similar tutorial, but I'm going to be showing you how to click signs and open links in Minecraft. So being able to go to a web page on a web browser from a sign in Minecraft or link signs as I like to call them. So we're in Minecraft 121.5 and I'm on the Java edition. I think this is only available for Java edition only, unfortunately, but hopefully I can show you why this is actually useful. And if you guys do enjoy this video and you learn something new and you want to support the channel, be sure to like, share and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated here on the channel. And be sure to engage with the video in the comments to, to basically tell me how you're using this. It'd be very, very cool to see what you're using this for. This is very useful for, I guess, servers, creative projects, custom maps, that sort of thing. But we have an example here where um, we have a command block. So we need to use a command block to get this to work. So this command block is going to alter this sign. So if we activate this, you can see we've added some text on here. Open YouTube, as you can see there, with the open YouTube sign. And if we click this, you will see that it puts something in the chat that we can interact with. So if we interact with this, you can see that it comes up with this little UI here with these buttons and you can go to the link or copy it to the clipboard or you can dis like discard it. So as you can see here, the link being used is my channel link as an example. But uh, if I use this, I'll be able to launch the link in the game. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. You can do any link you want using this method. Now, the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because uh, in previous versions of Minecraft, I think before Minecraft 1 or 20 or something like that, you used to be able to open links directly from the sign, but you can't do that anymore in modern Minecraft. So what you need to do is you need to make the sign run a command to put something in the chat, and then you can click that to open the link. So it's a bit unfortunate, so I wish they would keep the link thing, but they're probably stopping like spam behavior or something like that. But uh, that is essentially how it works here. And this command does work for both sides of the sign. So you can do it on the front and the back of the side using this method. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. So I'm now going to show you in a text editor what we're doing here. So you can see the command and how we're getting this to work. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here. And I can show you this command properly now. So. It's a pretty complex command, so I'd urge you to watch this part so you get to understand how this is actually working. This command will also be in the description of the video as well. And it will just be in one great big long string in the description. I've just laid it out like this so it's easier to show you in this tutorial. But what we're doing here is using the command block, we're doing a slash data modify command and we're doing it two blocks below the command block to actually change the sign. So what we're doing is we're modifying the front text data on the sign to basically set it to a particular set of data and text. So we're doing set value and we're setting the messages data collection to a bunch of data. So the messages collection is essentially four loads of data for each line of the sign. So uh, you can see here we have four collections of data. So we have some empty lines. So we have line one empty. We have line two with all of the data inside for the uh, link. And then we have the third and the fourth line. So these are just empty lines here. And you can also do back text with this instead of front text if you want to put it on the back of the sign instead. So you can do whatever you want with that. Now, let's get into the gritty details here on how this actually works. So there are two levels to this. So we have some text that appears on the sign. So open YouTube. And we also have a color code here, which is the like a YouTube red color code, a hexadecimal color code. You can add any 
hexadecimal color code you want, you find on the internet or whatever. And inside of here, we have a click event that is on the text on the sign. That's very important that this first level here, this click event is for the sign text itself, okay? And we are then doing action run command. So what we're saying here is clicking the sign will run a command. And then we then set the command right here. And we have the command in these single quotes right here. So we're doing a tell raw command to essentially give some text to the player in terms of that sort of stuff, because we want to inject like text into their chat. And we have to do raw because we are doing complex stuff with the text. And we're doing at s here. So because we're doing a run command with this click event, the at s should target the player that clicked the sign. So that's pretty cool. And over here as well, we are providing some more text data. So this text data is what appears in the chat window. So we have open YouTube again with the same color code. And then we have a click event, but this time it's open URL. And we have URL, and then we've set the link to be my YouTube channel link, as you can see there. So that is how you can get that to work. Unfortunately, you can't do it direct via the sign, but this is one way of getting around it. And it is a little complex, but once you get a hang of it and you've looked at this command a few times, you should be able to work it out. And you can do any link you want pretty much using this method. There might be a limit to how long the link can be. And there might be some other cases where certain complex links won't work but most of most simple links you can do on your web browser should work in this command here and that's about it everyone for this tutorial here hopefully this has helped you out if you want to follow my socials they are on screen and in the description and if there's any other tutorials you want me to do let me know in the comments down below and i may do it for a future video I hope to do some Minecraft 1.21.6 content soon when that releases. That should be pretty cool to cover because there's quite a lot of new content to look through. So stay tuned for that. See you in the next video, everyone. Take care. Stay happy and healthy. Bye bye.